have the capability to make the world's first bionic man. Steve Austin will be that man. Better, stronger, faster. That was fiction. This is reality. Bionic devices are computer or microprocessor controlled components first seen in the 1970s sci-fi adventure series The Six Million Dollar Man and its spin-off series The Bionic Woman. In The Six Million Dollar Man, Steve Austin's bionic eye had a zoom lens and infrared capabilities for night vision and thermal imaging. A brain implant is what made Steve Austin's bionic eye possible. Elon Musk's neural technology company Neuralink has created the real world version of the brain implant. In 2021, the World Health Organization estimated that approximately 15.4 million people globally were living with a spinal cord injury. So for many, this technology may be a game changer. Earlier this year, 30-year-old Noland Arba made history by becoming the first human to receive Neuralink's revolutionary brain implant called the Link during clinical trials. His journey started here. Hey, I'm Nolan. Um, seven years ago, I dislocated my C4-C5 while swimming in a lake. There were a lot of things to adjust to. I'm really excited to be a part of this Neuralink project. I want to help out people down the road as much as I can. A surgical robot designed by Neuralink performs the operation. The robot's high precision is necessary because the implant's threads are finer than a human hair. In fact, the entire device is around the size of a penny. The implant is placed under the scalp designed to be cosmetically invisible after surgery. Once the implant is in place, it is activated, wirelessly transmitting neural signals to external devices like smartphones and computers. I mean, when I first actually moved the cursor with my mind, it blew my mind for like a whole day. And to be helping, to be able to be useful in some way, it completely changed how I lived. Paralyzed from the neck down, Nolan is now defying all odds. Thanks to Neuralink's technology, he uses nothing but the power of his brain to play Mario Kart, chess, and learn French and Japanese. And he's not alone here. Another company is now pushing human capabilities beyond the previous limitations. German Bionic is a robotics firm bridging the gap between humans and machines by pioneering smart, wearable tools like their Apogee exoskeletons, which use AI to enhance work workplace lifting and posture. Canadian Tire's flagship store worked closely with German Bionic to improve the safety and efficiency of their back-end operations within their 75,000 square feet warehouse and their 120,000 square feet retail store. With the exosuit, for me it's very interesting. So I used to work in construction and I actually had hurt my back. So having something that helps assist and remove that stress for me was, I was very interested to get a hands-on view and, and work with it. So I'm very excited moving forward to see how we can apply it to the, the use in the store. So our next question is, how exactly does the sixth generation of German Bionics Apple G exoskeleton work? Users secure the harness around their shoulders and waist, adjusting the straps to the desired comfort level. Pressing the power button on the control unit activates the exoskeleton. By standing in a neutral position, it allows the Apogee to calibrate to a body shape and posture. The Apogee exoskeleton provides up to 66 pounds of assistance when you lift an object. You can use the control panel or the app to fine tune preferences and the assistance level. You can also check the battery life on the display or through the connected app. And when you're all done, power off the Apogee and carefully remove the harness. At the end of the day, you're sore, you're tired, you may not want to do much. So anything that helps assist in relieving that stress on the body and put your mind at ease knowing that your job's going to be easier coming in every day. While retro shows like The Six Million Dollar Man and The Bionic Woman imagined superhuman enhancements, engineers at companies like German Bionic and Neuralink are focused on something deeper, improving lives and restoring lost abilities through technology. Their work isn't about creating heroes, it's about building a better future for everyone. And if you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news.